he's pulled it. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. So after the fortunate kick, his second to the par four. And that's a good approach shot too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for birdie. So a poor tee shot at 10, now his second. Look at the touch. That's really well done. Chance now for another birdie. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. Well done there. It's a birdie to kick off the back nine. And he's going to move to four under par. Just one shot off the top spot. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he'll remain at 18 under. Now to the par 3 11th. And Frank, what's the key here? Well, this uh, green is slightly elevated. Huge false front sort of left and right of that Strath bunker. And of course that bunker on the hill, or should I say that bunker on the left is called Hill. It's the famous bunker where Bobby Jones couldn't get out of it many years ago and actually ripped up his scorecard. So a good tee shot here, just find that right level where the flag is. This could be a good one. Boy, he took that one way upstairs. Got a lot of air under it. And that allowed it to land softly. That's a nice shot. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. 21 feet from pay dirt. Nope, good effort, but that's going to wander a few feet by. Oh, that comes up well short. I bet he'd like a do over. This will slide a bit right. It's for birdie. It's a birdie here at 11. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. Oh, no, a max in concentration there. Oh, cost it. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. And with it, the lead is back down to one. Well, don't be fooled. It says only 316 yards on the card. This is the 12th hole. But you can really end up in a ton of trouble here. Bunkers are hidden all over the fairway. If you want to get through this hole clean, probably take out the long iron and play it down the left side. That'll still give you a short approach in.
You know, errant tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rough, but that is long. It is in the rough, but it appears to be a pretty good lie. Should have a go at this. His second now at the 12th. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Here's Sung Jae with a look at birdie. You betcha, what a roll there. That is in for a birdie. Will certainly help the cause. Now this for another birdie. Ah, that's gonna slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. And this steps there. It is a par here at 12. And he's going to stay at 19 under par. Now the par 4 13th. And again, Frank, it's all about avoiding the bunkers. Yeah, another hole that forces you to go either right or left of something that you can see. Uh, the two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond those, and if you do, then you've got a much shorter shot in. But uh, you've got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very costly. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this Another fine tee shot. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. A left to right breeze, something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. Oh, excellent shot. I love it when it's the right distance. This one just a little to the right. Nothing wrong with that. Now from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. That's uh, a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and you know, far from the best shot I've seen today. Chance now for another birdie. Well, even though this is a longer putt, it's very makeable. 
Mostly flat overall, maybe just a slight break to the right, but not very much. Yes, indeed. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And he'll move to within a shot of the lead at five under par. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he's gonna remain one shot off the pace. Frank, what's the strategy here at the 14th? If you can't go for this uh, par five and two, Rich, um, there is another option where you can go left. And I mean left of left, that's down the fourth fairway. That's uh, across the Elysian Fields, um, as they call it, which is a, a sort of, sort of uh, hummocks that run down the middle. And uh, you can find a flat lie there and come across at about a 45 degree angle for your third shot to 14. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Now from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. Not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. Almost a great shot. Just missed it a fraction to the right of this green here at the par five. Yeah, but a chip and a putt. Still make four. Just 37 yards to the hole.
Now, Sung Jay, with a look for Birdie. Now this, for another birdie. Well, he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, how about it? A beauty there. It is in for a birdie. And he gets it to 20 under par. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay at 20 under. Frank, the 15th here at the old course, just a classic example of Lynx golf, where you might be aiming for something that isn't even on the golf course. Exactly. There's a, a nice line there in between the two humps that you can see in front of you off the tee. If you keep looking down, you'll see the church steeple. That's the perfect line for the tee shot. Got to be careful with the second shot coming up. Um, you see the 16th tee and out of bounds to the right of this green and that little pot bunker that protects the front. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday at golf here and this another fine tee shot. And that, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. That one is really long, Frank. He miscalculated there. Well, there has to be something. I mean, from, from where he was, it's just an aberration. Seriously, that little green patch down the end there with a flag in it, that's where you're meant to go. Not like sailing over yonder. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. Chance now for another birdie. Here of right to left in this one, Rich. Straight back up the slope. Oh, what a putt right there. The speed was spot on, but it was just a fraction offline, or that would have gone in. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll remain right where he is. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And he'll stay right where he is. All right, Frank, another par four. It's the 16th. Players trying to make their way to the house, standing up in one piece. What's the best way to get at this hole? Well, the normal 
player would actually try and hit the ball down the left. I've seen the odd player try and hit it down that out-of-bounds line and sort of flash it down the right side, but really there's not much of an advantage, Rich, unless you're the longest hitter in the business. So a little short and a little left at the principal's nose is a nice setup for the second shot here at 16. Another fine tee shot. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Front right hole location as he prepares his second to the par four. It's a good one. Just a little short, a little right, but still a very good place to putt from. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. Now this for another birdie. Hmm, disappointing. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Down for a birdie here at 16. And he moves to 21 under par. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And this will remain a one shot advantage. Seventeenth tee, and Frank, this is really when you begin to feel the weight and the history of the old course bearing down on you. And you also feel the nerves as well, because you're having to hit it not just at a fairway or over a bush, but over the corner of an out-of-bounds. And uh, you'll see it, there's a little sign up there that says Old Course and Country Club. So you've got to pick the exact letter for the line that you want to hit it across. Hit it down the right side, this hole certainly becomes shorter. Left, you find the left and short. You find the road, the road hole bunker. Uh, a little right and long, and well, there's a chance of going out of bounds or on the road itself. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. Oh, do you believe it? Right off making birdie, this tee shot of the very next hole. Out of bounds.
put himself in an excellent position. Keyboards, 88 yards, really good opportunity here. Second shot. Well, he's overshot the green here. Fire the caddy, Rich. Seriously. At any other club other than that one. And we're looking to catch this clean off the road. You've got to nip it and hope it grips and stops. Yeah, this hole's giving him fits, but that's pretty good right there. Yeah, that's good putt. It is in for par here at 17, and he's going to stay too clear of the field. Okay, so that one finished off with double bogey. And this is going to drop that lead down to three shots. Ah, uh, yes, one of the most famous finishing holes in golf. 357 yard, par 418th at St. Andrews. Aim the drive at the clock on the RNA Clubhouse. And remember, the road here is an integral part of the course. Any ball that lands there must be played as it lies. Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. <laughs> Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. He's got about 98 yards to the front, 119 to the hole. Swinging it great today. Would not surprise me if he stuck it close. Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Nah, nothing to it. Very well judged there. Not only a long putt, but a bending putt. Strong right to left in this one. They'll be very pleased just to get this one within a couple of feet. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a little offline, but not too bad from that far away. Five feet now for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. And that will write an end to the round here today. Okay, so that will wind up a par at the last. And that will finish off our round of golf. 
So this is going to be an interesting night, Frank. Sleeping on a 54-hole lead and looking for that first major title. Yeah, just one round to go. And that's so hard to put in the back of your mind. But if that adrenaline, you're going to have adrenaline. It's just going to be coming out your ears tomorrow. Um, you wouldn't want it any other way. So for Frank Navalo, Nota Begay III, and Diona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports. EGA Tour Golf.